Hello everybody, welcome back to my shop. It is generally understood that with filament printing, if you want to have smooth prints, you're going to spend some time sanding on your prints to knock down the appearance of the layer lines. There are some options out there to be able to smooth your prints without using sanding. Most notably would be ABS, which you can smooth with acetone, but ABS is notoriously hard to print with and to get really good prints out of it. Another option is the Polymaker and PolySmooth products that uses isopropyl alcohol to smooth your prints. Now on the market there's a material that is easy to print like PLA, but it also smooths in the presence of isopropyl alcohol so there's little to no sanding required to get a smooth print. That material is called PVB and that stands for polyvinyl butyrol. I just happen to have a spool of polyvinyl butyrol right here or PVB and I thought what I would do is open it up and do a couple test prints with it and then we will do a couple of experiments with the best way to apply the isopropyl alcohol to properly smooth this. As I understand it, if you use too much alcohol or you leave it in contact with the alcohol too long, it can ruin the print. So let's do some experimentation here and figure out what is the best way to smooth this PVB filament. Big thanks to the company Yusu for sending me out this roll of filament to test. Um, they sent me one kilo of the, their black PVB. So we will uh, go ahead and open it up, load it up in one of the printers behind me here, and do a couple of test prints. The roll of filament comes vacuum packed in a nice resealable bag. I did have a problem with mine though. It appears that the bag was punctured at some point and I don't think it was after I had opened it. So it's something to keep an eye out for and I will report if there are any issues with printing as a result of this punctured bag. My first print will be this Benchy and it will serve two purposes. First it'll help me see how well the filament actually prints and then I will also use it to test one of my smoothing methods that I'm going to try. Okay we're gonna start out with this little Benchy model that I made and uh, the manufacturer suggests that you just use a spray bottle filled with isopropyl alcohol and you spray it over. But I want to try a couple other uh, methods here. So first method is going to be just what would I, I would call the dunking method. And uh, so I have a I have this guy right here. I'm going to set my benchy into this it's called a pickle jar and I'm going to drop it into this um, isopropyl alcohol right here and um, we'll see how it reacts. So that was probably about 30 seconds in the, in the alcohol, and uh, we'll see what it does to the appearance of layer lines after 30 seconds of soaking. Alright, so I dropped it into the um, solution for another 30 seconds, so this is about after a minute, and keep in mind this is a .2 layer height, so it was a pretty rough finish to start with. But it seems okay, it seems promising, but I know it's going to take forever for this to dry. And um, so let's go ahead and move on to the next method. My next print is this awesome sculpt by Eastman 3D of a Darth Vader bust. This thing looks phenomenal and I'm pretty excited to test this filament out with this specific bust. I will provide a link to this model in the description below. OK, 
Okay, so for the next method I'm going to use my Darth Vader 3D print. And I'm going to just use I'm going to dip a brush in the isopropyl alcohol and I'm just going to brush it uh along the back against the grain or or perpendicular to the layer lines and we'll see if that helps smooth out the layer lines with the alcohol. So brushing on may be a decent option. It did not, it definitely made it shinier, um, but it did not completely eliminate the layer lines. And I noticed that the areas where I left, where I was more liberal with the isopropyl alcohol, have ended up smoother than the areas where I pretty much brushed it all the way off. So I think the conclusion I can come to from all of this is that it looks like spraying on is probably going to be the best bet, so we're going to find out right now. Okay, we've got Vader set up on his pedestal here, and I'm going to just spray him down with the isopropyl alcohol. And I'm going to try to not get any runs, and um, try to keep it from pooling anywhere, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, I will continue to monitor this for a while, and as the alcohol ev evaporates off, I'll continue to add it, and then we'll just see maybe how many applications it takes to get what I would call an acceptable result. Well, here he is. I used the whole uh, bottle of isopropyl alcohol on him, and uh, he's not perfectly smooth, as you can see. However, one of the added benefits of this PVB is when you use the alcohol to smooth it, it leaves a very, very shiny surface, um, a very glossy surface, which is nice. I feel like I could have probably used more alcohol and eventually gotten it to where I wanted it. Um, I am starting to lose some detail inside uh, the mask there, um, but it's really not that big of a deal for this type of a piece. Another thing I'd like to possibly test, maybe on a smaller scale, is a uh, vapor smoothing, or basically I would soak paper towels with the alcohol and then enclose the model in a container with the wet uh, alcohol soaked paper towels. Um, I think one of the reasons why it continues, or it still has some of this texture is because the alcohol evaporates before uh, it's done doing what it needs to do. And I tried to mitigate that by spraying it down. I mean, I spent the whole day just coming in hour after hour and spraying it down. And like I said, I, the results are really nice. So anyway, my conclusion is that the results are promising and it probably needs a little bit more experimentation to perfect the process. So there you go, this is my demonstration of the Yusu PVB filament that you can smooth with isopropyl alcohol. If um, you're interested in getting your own spool of this filament, you can go ahead and use the link that I'll provide in the description below and uh, you can try it out for yourself. And if you do have some and you try it out, let me know what your best method for smoothing your prints are. Um, I, like I said, this guy gets me about 99% of the way there. And ironically, I could probably sand them first and then use the alcohol and it would make it perfectly smooth. But we're trying to get away from sanding. So anyway, thank you everybody for watching this far. I really appreciate all the support. If you want to, you can subscribe to my channel. I have reviews like this all the time. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you next time.